welcome to math cafe enjoy math sip by sip this is the third part of chapter integrals in the last video we have seen basic integration in this video we are going to see one of the most important type of integration that is integration by substitution in this type there is always a general question how do i decide which term should be taken as substitution or how do i conclude shall i go with the substitution method or not let us tackle all these questions by considering one of the examples see i have taken an integral of 2x into sin of x square plus 1 t i need to integrate 2x into sin of x square plus 1 this is the thought process think about this way do i have a product rule absolutely no there is no product rule here and it will not work and the next thing among these terms which term i could integrate clearly you can integrate 2x and sin of x square plus 1 do you know the integral of sin of x square plus 1 no right if it was sin x you could have easily integrate the integration process is stopped because of the presence of the term x square plus 1 clearly this term x square plus 1 is stopping you from integration there is the catch the term which stops you from moving forward clearly gives the idea that term must be taken as a substitution now we consider x square plus 1 could be the substitution how do you confirm this is your right choice or your decision is right check the derivative of this expression what is the derivative of that expression 2x and cross check whether you have a 2x in the question or not clearly you can see here there is a 2x also present in the question that says your thought process is perfectly all right and you must use x square plus 1 as a substitution as its derivative present in the question now let us rewrite the question in this way let i equal to i stands for the integral and always rewrite the question in such a way that you write the term whichever you are going to use as a substitution as the first term and the left over everything should be written with the dx see i have rewritten the question as sin of x square plus 1 into 2x dx i have a clear aim for that as i confirm that i'm going for the substitution as x square plus 1 right let t equal to x square plus 1 differentiate that with respect to x dt by dx is equal to what 2x now this you can write as dt equal to 2x dx or straight away you can write this as you are differentiating t with respect to x dt will become 2x dx now this is the secret i told you to write separately this 2x dx now if you observe you can understand that see x square plus 1 we have already taken a t that becomes t and the left over term this 2x dx is clearly we can dt here actually what happened is that we are transforming whole question into a new variable that's what we have taken t so the question will transform as sin t into dt can you integrate sin t dt please make it sure in this stage you cannot have both x and t at the same time this sin t dt integral of sin t is what minus cos t plus c now replace the assumed variable t to the original variable and we have minus cos of x square plus 1 plus c don't stop here let us cross check whether our answer is correct what is derivative of minus cos x square plus 1 minus is minus and derivative of cos is what negative sin x square plus 1 into derivative of x square plus 1 is 2x and and derivative of a constant is 0 this will become sin x square plus 1 into 2x that is exactly your question and you are absolutely right let us see some more cases where the integration by substitution method will work or in which and what situations exactly the integration by substitution method will work let us see some general cases if you have integrals which involve composition of function and whose derivative is given see look at this first case f of g of x all to the power n into g dash x dx can you observe something here you have a function and whose derivative also present in the question in all such cases your integration by substitution will work see here another example cos of gx into g dash x or sin of gx into g dash x e raised to g of x into g dash x in particular you will have a function or a composition of functions and its derivative will be always present for example you will have a question of this form sin of e raised to x into e raised to x dx or tan of sin x 
into cos x dx. See, such cases we always use integration by substitution. What you need to identify is that which term is the function and whose derivative is given. Generally by looking, you can understand which term is function and whose derivative is present. That will help you to take the decision on the substitution term. Let us see some more cases. This is the other cases. You have integral of g dash x dx by f of g of x all raised to n and g dash x dx by f of g of x. This is also somewhat the same cases, but your point is to identify the function part and whose derivative. Once you get the question, you need to read carefully and to identify which term is the function and whose derivative is present in the question. Let us see the second example. Integral of log x whole square divided by x dx. We need to integrate log x whole square by x. How do we integrate? Here also the same way we will start our thought process. Do I know integral of log x? Do I know integral of log x? Clearly it is a no. That means you can't integrate log x. That clearly says you must take substitution for the term log x. Now the second step, do we have derivative log x present in the question or not? Yes, absolutely I have. What is the derivative log x? 1 by x. That is a perfect starting and well done. Rewrite the question as log x the whole square. As I said, once you decide I am going to use the log x as a substitution, next immediate step is that write that and write leftover thing with the dx. Then substitution. Let t equal to log x and dt equal to 1 by x dx. Now I know that some of you must be thinking why I haven't taken log x whole square as substitution. Why I am not taking log x whole square as substitution. If you think that way, no problem. Try yourself and make it clear what will happen. What is derivative of log x whole square? 2 log x into 1 by x dx. Now if you observe log x whole square you taken as a substitution and you are left with the 1 by x dx. But your derivative is becoming 2 log x into 1 by x dx. That clearly says you are missing 1 2 log x. And again it will become more complicated terms. We use only t as log x. Absolutely its derivative 1 by x dx is there. Log x can be replaced by t. And 1 by x dx can be replaced by what? dt. Therefore the integral is reduced as t square dt. A word of caution. Please never write integral t x dt etc together. You cannot integrate two variables at a time at this level. Don't try to write t, x and dt at the same time. No sambar, no kichadi. It should be always with one variable alone. Clearly the x variable we have totally transformed a new variable t. So the integration should be involved only with a single variable. Now what is integral of t square? t raised to 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1. Hope you remember the formula integral of x raised to n integral stands for i so it keep increases one at a time so 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is i equal to t q by 3 plus c replace the t that was log x so log x whole q by 3 plus c that's our answer again please confirm we differentiate and confirm whether our answer is right or not 1 by 3 into what is derivative of log x whole to the power 3 3 times log x whole square into derivative of log x is what 1 by x and derivative of c is 0 that's i'm not writing 3 and 3 could cancel so log x whole square by x that's what our question Please try to differentiate and always try to confirm that you are right. That confirms two things. Your integration part is thorough and automatically the differentiation also becoming thorough. Let us see the third example. Integral of cortex log sin x dx. Again, just like as I said in the previous case, we will start thinking like this way. Do I know integral of cortex or integral of log sin x? Clearly log sin x integral we haven't seen and that clearly says what you must use log sin x as substitution. That's perfect. First step is all right. You got the 10 on 10 on that part. Now the second step. What is derivative of log sin x? 1 by sin x into derivative of sin x is what? Cos x. See cos x by sin x is what? Cortex. Perfect. We have a cortex there. Log sin x is going to be changed to the new variable t and cortex dx will become what dt. Rewrite the question as, as I said, log sin x into the leftover terms all with dx, cortex dx. Let t equal to log sin x and differentiating dt equal to 1 by sin x into cos x into dx. dt is 
cot x dx. Now let us see the terms log sin x is becoming t. Here I can replace log sin x as t and see the next term that is cot x dx. What is cot x dx? dt. Therefore, the question will be changing as i equal to integral t into dt. What is integral of t? t square by 2 plus c. Now let us substitute the original variable. Instead of t, we will write log sin x. So half log sin x whole square plus c. That is our answer. Let us cross check the answer. Half into differentiating. 2 into log sin x into. What is derivative log sin x? 1 by sin x into. Derivative sin x is what? Cos x and plus derivative c is 0. Half and 2 get cancelled. Cos x by sin x is cot x. We get log sin x into cot x. And that is what the question. We are absolutely right. And we have done the question correctly. And you secured the idea as well as the marks. Let us consider the next question. Integral of tan raised to 4 root x into 6 square root x divided by root x dx. Oh god, so many terms, right? 1, 2, 3. How do I integrate? Don't get panic. It's simple question. An important question came in the board exam. First thing, out of these three terms, which term you could integrate and which term you can't integrate. You think that way, you got the answer. See, clearly here, you can integrate root x and you can integrate 6 square, but you can't integrate tan. That gives the clear idea of choosing substitution as what tan. We know that we can't integrate tan, so take tan root x as substitution. Now think about like this, what is its derivative? What is derivative of tan root x? 6 square root x into 1 by 2 root x. And you have a 6 square root x and there is a root x. But there is a shortage of 2, that doesn't matter. We have confirmed that we are going to use tan x as the substitution. So rewrite the question as i equal to, as I said, take the term whichever you are planning to use as substitution as a single left over, every term should be written with the dx. So 6 square root x into dx. Now substitution. Let t equal to tan root x. Please don't think about of using tan whole raised to 4 root x as a substitution and that will not help you to complete the question because tan raised to 4 root x will give you 4 tan cube x root x into 6 square root x into 1 by 2 root x and these terms are not having their See, you have already 6 square root x and root x only there. Derivative of t will be dt and tan as we have seen already, 6 square root x into 1 by 2 root x dx. Now compare again, see, tan can be replaced by t, so this will become t to the power 4 and 6 square root x by root x dx we have, but there is an extra 2 here. How do we remove this 2? Please cross multiply to left side, 2 dt equal to what? 6 square root x by root x dx. This is advantage of writing this way and you can clearly understand you need this term exactly that is 2 dt. Therefore, i becomes integral of t raised to 4 into 2 dt. That's equal to 2 into integral of t raised to 4 dt and t raised to 5 divided by 5 plus c. Integration stands for i, i means increasing. So, t raised to 5 by 5 plus c. Now, replace the original variable t means tan root x all to the power 5 plus c or 2 by 5 tan raised to 5 root x plus c. Once again, you differentiate and cross check whether you are correct or not. 2 by 5, 5 tan raised to 4 root x into 6 square root x into 1 by 2 root x and c gets cancelled. So, 2 get cancelled and 5 also get cancelled. The leftover is your question and absolutely you are right and you got the right answer. Let us see the next example. Integral of cos x into sin of sin x dx. And clearly here also see sin of sin x we can't integrate. We have to choose this sin x as a substitution. We write the question as i equal to sin of sin x into the leftover terms that is cos x dx. Let t equal to sin x and dt equal to what cos x dx. Therefore, the integral will become what? Integral of sin t into dt. What is integral of sin t? Minus cos t plus that is equal to negative cos of sin x plus c. That is your answer. Please differentiate and cross check whether you are correct or not. Some more results from the same topic. Please keep a copy and learn all the results very well to masterize integrals. Thank you for watching Math Cafe. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe and share. In the next video, we will continue with the integration by substitution with a more typical and board based questions. Thank you for watching.